Hello, I'm TB and I play the violin. I'm the first violins of the Halle Orchestra. Well, it's really due to my father, um, who is not a musician, but a chemistry teacher, physics and chemistry, but he always had a huge passion for uh, music and for violin in particular. But despite that, I started on the accordion. <laughs> Um, so for about a year or so I played the accordion and it was quite a big accordion for me at the time so when I look at those photos they're really funny because I'm about as big as the accordion <laughs> and then one year later I, I switched to violin and I went to the music school in Romania the country was basically full of free music schools uh, specialist music schools so I went there when I was uh, six years old and uh, I finished when I was 18 After postgraduate, I, uh, I um, played with various orchestras. Um, I did uh, recitals, all sorts of uh, you know uh, activity that uh, freelancers do, freelance musicians do in London. Um, but gradually and strangely for many other colleagues in the orchestra, I drifted towards um, uh, computers more and more, although. I meant it initially as a short-term thing because of various factors and you know the course of life I had to really concentrate on it for a few years um, and uh, really the only way I got back into music was again by chance in a way. During my time not doing music I had the strangest nightmares about music. Uh, so even if I wasn't playing violin, I, I would wake up in the middle of the night panicking that I was late at rehearsals or not prepared or uh, another really st um, strange nightmare that some musicians tend to have. Um, I, was, I was in the middle of a concert playing a different instrument, you know, for some reason. I felt so much more fresh coming back to music and, and I missed it so much and more, you know, I had more enthusiasm than I ever had before. <laughs> Any, any of us, I think, would, would, would say that the most exciting thing is, is to, to be able to, to be part of a fantastic concert. Even a rehearsal can be a highlight or, 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 or a life in the band room because it's a nice orchestra, it's a nice group of people. Um, my teachers have been a big influence on me um, and people that I collaborated with after. Um, so. I definitely have a lot of gratitude for my teachers, but not only violin teachers, but also academic teachers. Some, are, some of the academic teachers we had at college were so fantastic, I thought. They were equally influential, I think, on me as the instrumental teachers. And then while I was at college, we had some special guests, uh, even if sometimes they would be in for much shorter periods, they would have a big impact on, on the, you know, young students. Thing that one of the academic teachers of, at college told me, he was a teacher that we all respected very much because he seemed to know everything about music. One of the things that he kept saying to us, and I think it stuck with me and I think should be with every aspiring musician is, you have to constantly try to learn more because you never know enough. And I always thought, how can this guy that knows everything about music, say that he doesn't know enough, you know? Because that's what basically he said. He said, you know, you always need to learn more music. There's, you never know enough music, you never heard enough music, and you never, you've never played enough music. Don't imagine that you know enough or that you heard enough or you played enough. So always imagine that you don't know enough.